Randall Franks is best known as Officer Randy Good from the hit television show In the Heat of the Night. This weekend, Franks returns to CBS for Hallmark Hall of Fame's Flamingo Rising, and Randall Franks joins us live this morning. Nice to see you. Good morning, Steve. Good to have you here. I know you're an Atlanta native. You're a busy man these days. Let's start with the show on CBS and the Hallmark Hall of Fame. Uh, the television show. Tell us what it's all about. Well, I'm excited to be a part of this project, mainly because uh, I've never gotten an opportunity to work with Hallmark before, right. and they produce such wonderful, great quality, quality family films. And this particular project, they've really put out all the stops because they they brought in William Hurt right. and uh, Brian Ben Ben, Elizabeth McGovern, and one of the finest directors, Martha Coolidge, in the business, and and they built this huge set uh, for this drive-in in this project. You won't believe it when you see it, but they. They built everything from the ground up, and it's, it's a wonderful story. It's got to be an exciting feeling to get that call from your agent when they're telling you, hey, we've got something for you, you need to show up and audition for, especially, as you mentioned, with a cast of this nature. Oh, it, it was a very tight-knit cast, a small number of people, so getting to work opposite William Hurt is just... Uh, a dream come true. Absolutely. We should tell folks that that will air on Sunday, February the 4th, and of course that's just around the corner. You have been uh, very talented your entire life. I think I read somewhere where you started entertaining folks as a singer, songwriter, producer, starting at the age of eight, and you're very astute on the fiddle, and this is a family tradition. Tell us about that. Well, uh, my, my great-grandfather, uh, A.J. Harfranks, was a turn-of-the-century fiddle player up in the north northwest Georgia mountains and right. I, he's taught his uh, son Tom and when I was little going to the family reunions I listened to my uncle Tom play the fiddle and when the opportunity came uh, when I was in school uh, Dr. Greiser came to my elementary school dressed in elementary and uh, he played the Orange Blossom Special to get us to sign up to learn the classical violin. You were bit by the bug I and it's been bit, the same ever and since. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'll be darned. But he wanted to teach us Beethoven, Brahms, Bach, and Mozart, not large blossom special. And you said that, no, I'll have none of that. <laughs> Tell us, you've got a new CD coming out. Talk about that. Well, we've, yes, we've got a new CD that's just come out, and we're real excited about this particular project. Sonny Schroyer from the Dukes of Hazard Enos is on it with me. He's on our brand new single that's gone out to radio this month, Good Children in Need. Right. Uh, Tommy Scott, the old Singing Cowboy, Rambling Tommy Scott's on there, Cotton and Jane Carrier of the WSB Barn Dance, so many great folks. David Davis, the Warrior River Boys are with me all through the project. Tom. I know that you're very busy as a musician. You're, you're a member of the uh, Hollywood Hillbillies Jamboree that stays very busy touring these days. Well, Mr. Scott, uh, Doc Tommy Scott, founded that over 50 years ago, and of course some of the biggest stars in Hollywood have traveled with the show from Colonel Tim McCoy of the Old Westerns, Fuzzy St. John, Ray Whitley, so many people have traveled and and we just have a lot of fun doing fairs and festivals around the country and we bring a little bit of Hollywood to the small towns. Good you know? for you. Well we wish you well and uh, best of luck with the Hallmark Hall of Fame's Flamingo Rising which again airs on Sunday February the 4th. At 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock. <laughs> Randall Franks, very nice to Thank see you. you. Enjoyed your work on In the Heat of the Night. Well I appreciate that. Take good care of yourself.